I am Suhan, the primary author for this paper, How Deep Learning Extracts and Learns Leaf Features for Plant Classification. Plant classification systems developed by computer vision researchers have helped botanists to recognize and identify unknown plant species more rapidly. Until now, numerous studies have focused on procedures or algorithms that maximize the use of leaf databases for plant predictive modeling. For example, from year 2006 until 2016, leaf shape features have been chosen and tested in almost 52% of plant identification studies, while texture features used in almost 35%. These features, however, are liable to change with different leaf data or feature extraction techniques. Hence, Prof, in this paper, we want to solve the ambiguity surrounding the subset of features that best represent leaf data. To find out the best features of leaf for species identification, we use deep learning approach to learn and extract the feature representation of leaf data. We choose deep learning approach is because it allows features to be learned from raw representations of input data, obviating the needs of handcrafted features. We employ one of the deep learning techniques, convolutional neural networks, to learn a robust representation for images of leaf. The CNN model used is the AlexNet model. Avoid treating CNN as a black box, we go deeper into exploring and understanding the important subset of features through the convolutional neural networks. We propose the V1 feature visualization technique to identify the unique features in the leaf images that are deemed important to characterize a plant. In the experiments, we use two different datasets. The first dataset is a self-collected dataset, namely Malaya Q leaf dataset. It was collected at the Royal Botanic Gardens Q, England. If you are interested, please download from the given link. The second dataset used is the well-known baseline leaf dataset, the Flavia dataset. We report some of unexpected result. Shape is not a dominant feature for leaf representation, but rather the different orders of venation. This finding fits with the botanical point of view that leaf shape alone is not a good choice for identifying plants because of the common occurrence of similar leaf contours, especially in closely related species. We also explore deeper into local response of filters in each convolution layer. We observe a fruitful fact that features learned in CNN exhibits layer by layer transition from general to specific types. This effect was proven emulates the botanist character definitions used for plant species classification. Based on our preliminary experiments and visualization outcomes, we gain an important intuition that CNN trained using whole leaves and leaf patches extract different levels of contextual information. Henceforth, in the next study, we design a new hybrid global local feature extraction model for leaf data based on CNN approach, where one global network trained upon the whole leaf data and another local network trained upon its corresponding leaf patches. Our experimental results show that combining both global and local leaf data is an alternative to boost the classification performance. And using the early fusion method based on convolution sum, we could achieve the best accuracy. In this work, we show that using deep learning approach can overcome the inadequacy of shape alone and explore other kinds of characters presented by leaf images. We demonstrate that venation is a more powerful discriminating feature. Through feature visualization, we found that the learned features are not merely constrained to shape, texture or color, but also extend to specific kinds of leaf characters such as structural divisions, leaf tip, leaf base and margin types. We also introduced new hybrid models exploiting the correspondence of different contextual information of leaf features. We show that hybrid global local feature extraction models can further boost the discriminative power of plant classification system. Since botanists classify plant species by observing several plant organs such as branch, stem, flowers, fruits and leaves, in future work, we will extend the work to recognize in the wild based on multi-organ plant images. Here I end my presentation. Thank you.